let's look at the second AP statistics questions from 2017. The manager of a local fast food restaurant is concerned about customers who ask for a water cup when placing an order but fill the cup with soft drink. Oh man, that's, that's, not, that's not good. From the beverage fountain, instead of filling the cup with water, the manager selected a random sample of 80 customers. Let's write this down. N is equal to 80. The sample size is 80. Um, who asked for a water cup when placing an order and found that how many 23 of those customers filled the cup with a soft drink from the beverage fountain. So we have P hat, which is the sample proportion, is the 23 out of 80. A, construct and interpret a 95% confidence interval. So we want it to be 95% confidence. For the proportion of all customers who, having asked for a water cup, when placing an order, will fill the cup with a soft drink from the beverage fountain. So how do we find this? Well, let's start by looking at the requirements for the test and making sure all of them are satisfied. Requires, requirements are satisfied because, because why? One, the sample is what? Given to be random. That's very important. It's given to be random. Where did it say it's random? I, I know I saw it. Uh, sample, random sample of 80 customers. So they tell you. So that's the first one. Two, now the second one is based on independence. It is reasonable. It is reasonable. The sample size of 80 is less than 10% of the population size. Of the population size. Population size. Population size. Yes. If it is more than 10% of the population size, we cannot really say there is significant independence because you're not filling it with replacement. Since you're not picking without replacement, if, it's, if, if the sample size is too large compared to population size, you do not have the required independence. But in this case, it is reasonable that the amount of customers that ask for the water cup in the store is more than 800. So let's say that requirement is satisfied. So we got two. And the last one, last but not the least, we know that P hat times N, which is 80 times 23 over 80, is 23. And Q hat times N, which is going to be the sample size minus 23. So 80 minus 23 is 57 or both greater than or equal to five. Since all of our requirements are satisfied, the first one is random, second one for independence, and third one to approximate, approximate this with normal distribution, we can go ahead and construct the confidence interval and we can use our calculator software, calculator software, we obtain what? Software, we get, we get, what do we get? 0 0.188, 0 0.587. On TI-84, you can use, you can use one prop Z int, one proportion Z interval. If you're using TI-84 or TI-83, actually, you can use this. So that's the confidence interval, 95% confidence interval. But what else do they want you to do? They also want you to interpret the confidence interval, which is important. We know we have we have 95% confidence. 95% confidence. We cannot say, we cannot say it's 95% probability. Why can we not say 95% probability? The reason is population population proportion is not going to change. The population proportion is fixed. So th there is either a probability of 1 or 0 that the population proportion is going to be contained within our interval. So we don't have 95% probability. We either have 0% or 1%. What we are looking at is confidence. So probability should not be used or you're going to get points taken off. We have 95% confidence that the population proportion, proportion, if you cannot say sample, the sole reason for constructing a confidence interval is to figure out something about the population, not for the sample. 
If you put sample, that's points taken off once again. We have 95% confidence that the population proportion is. Oh, uh, let's let's actually put this in context. Population proportion of people or customers. Customers who ask for water, who ask for water cup. Oh, who ask for water cup. And still fill it with non water is contained within contained within what? Within what what do we have? Zero point one eight eight? Zero point three eight seven. So that's the answer. That's the answer for number one. Now let's look at number two. The manager estimates that each customer who asks for a water cup but fills it with a soft drink costs the restaurant quite a bit, 25 cents. Suppose that in the month of June, 3,000 customers ask for the water cup and use the confidence interval constructed in part A, which we have, to give an interval estimate for the cost of the restaurant for the month of June uh, uh, because of this. Well, our, our interval was what? 0.188? 0 0.387 and that's giving you the proportion of customers who ask for the cup but do not fill it with water so if you want to find the actual number of the people the actual number of customers that fill that does such thing it's gonna be 3000 times that so 3000 times 0 0.188 and 3000 times 0 0.387 for the limit and for each of this for each person it's the restaurant is gonna have to pay zero point two five dollars, so that's gonna be our answer. Three thousand times zero point one eight eight times zero point two five for the lower limit, and three thousand times zero point three eight seven times zero point two five for the upper limit. Let me calculate this really fast. <laughs> Plugging things into my calculator. Times point three eight seven, point three eight seven. I got one forty one. 290 so th and make sure you put dollar sign and that's gonna be our answer for number two